Okay then, so I've just connected in my new device. It's a three four seven seven zero optical heat optical heat sensor sounder. Um, that's on the loop as well. I just need to reconnect the loop in. By doing that, the panel's going to give me a warning. Device replaced. I just need to reallocate the loop. So. So that should pop and that. There we go. Allocation OK at card one. Allocated two. Um, warning loop map has changed. Starting loop one. I'm just going to put a box on the windowsill because there's a bit of light coming in. Can't see the screen well. Right, so now it's going to start loop one. Loop, okay. Right, so. So hopefully, if we hit sound alarms. is working it's warning me that I need to do a backup so I'll do that in a minute now let's just cause a fire condition Okay then, so first fire was manual call point number 75 on loop 1. Um, buzzer cancelled, I'll just verify them alarms. Um, we'll just sound the alarms again. Um, I'm just going to go out there and see how loud it is. So. Just replace the screw and the core point. So that I can safely reset the system. Right. System being reset. Well now we're gonna do find devices. Start device one. So that's device one. And that's still device seventy five by the looks of it. So, yeah, that 
that's that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to look at what the warning is. It's probably telling me that I need to back up. Loop map has changed. Yeah, right. So I've got a can of deodorant, I'll just activate this detector. It's an optical heat, which means it has a heat element there, but it's also a detector as well, so. This might work and it might not. It depends on its sensing mode. I don't know what it's set up to sense. Won't reset because there's a fire still. The device is still an alarm, which is why it's gone all high pitched. It might activate again. Oh, I think that's it. Right. has changed. Oh, I know the loop map has changed. Um, right, I'm just going to get rid of this um, menu now, so. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.